Alrighty, looks like adventures and base today. I think there should be a third one. Is port adventures? Aha, intrigue. There we go. So we have basically base and adventures with just a, a hint of intrigue. Um, what's going on? So there's both peasant and page. Two very strong cards. Generally, when either of those is present, the goal is just get it ASAP, play it as frequently as you can, and then advance it up the line to champion in Page's case, or disciple and teacher in Peasant's case. Uh, looking at this kingdom, I think Peasant looks like the more important of those two. There's Port, which is a decent village, so you can do without having champion immediately. And there are attacks, there's Haunted Woods, there's also Warrior from the Page line, and Soldier from the Peasant line. So blocking attacks does something. It doesn't look like the most important thing ever. So I think getting Disciple and Teacher seems more important. There's no thinning. There is Mine, which can turn your coppers into slightly less bad coppers, but that's not making your deck any thinner. Uh, we got everything else we need, though. Plus buy is just peasant for the moment. There's also a workshop for gains. Eventually you can get the teacher token if you wanted to and put the plus buy token on anything. Uh, for villages, there's port, there's teacher, again, there's a plus action token. There's uh, champion, and there's disciples, a village. For draw, haunted woods, library, um, those don't play well with each other at all. <laughs> Probably haunted woods, gotta be the better of the two. And then eventually the plus card token, um, almost certainly the most important token, in general the most important token as well. Um, also there's, I guess, warrior from the page pile as draw. Okay, so it seems pretty clear. Play peasant a bunch, get a few ports, get some haunted woods, put the plus card token on port. Probably at some point you're getting page as well. Um, not a whole lot to say about this one, I don't think. Um, how to open. My first instinct is scouting party plus peasant. I want peasants anyway. Might as well get started playing it. Um, on the 3-4, how did you open on 3-4? Hmm. On 3-4, I think you'd probably go peasant first, and then scouting party to top deck that peasant, and then buy either like a second peasant or a page. Uh, that seems right. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, I don't want to buy Scouting Party here, I don't think. There's a 1-6 chance that I bottom deck my Peasant, which would be uh, a bit irksome. But, there's a 5-6 chance I play it turn 4 and then I'm fine. Or turn 3, rather. And if I buy Scouting Party here, I guarantee I find my Peasant. But I also guarantee that it misses the shuffle, which doesn't sound great. I think I'll just take Dungeon now. Probably. I, mean, I want workshops for gaining things, but they're still going to collide with my soldier next shuffle. Um, I think it's just dungeon. And this can be uh, another peasant and a page. This looks like a pretty good draw. Please, no peasant. Thank you. And what do I take on five? Probably Haunted Woods, right? I'll trigger this shuffle off of the dungeon effect. And that means very likely my next hand um, in two turns will have like Haunted Woods, Treasure Hunter, uh, Fugitive. Yeah, unless I draw the Haunted Woods off the top, it's not going to collide with the peasant. <laughs> there we go. I see these shuffles are working out pretty well. Okay. Um, so next turn, if all goes well, I will play Haunted Woods, which is almost guaranteed to happen. 5 7 has changed my Haunted Woods on top, but even if it's on the bottom, as long as I find the Fugitive in the top five, 
I also find the Haunted Woods. So the only scenario where I don't play it is if both Haunted Woods and Fugitive are the bottom two cards. So very unlikely. Um, I'll get those in play. The next shuffle I will have Haunted Woods down. I'll have a Disciple in my deck. I will have a Warrior in my deck. I will have a Soldier in my deck. So that's two terminals and a village. Um, hmm. If I had six, I think it would be peasant plus port pretty automatically. Um, I kind of want the ports. They're a good target for the disciple. And they help me resolve Terminal Collision if I don't find all three of Disciple, Warrior, and Soldier. Actually, I, I have to find all four of, like, Disciple plus a non-terminal target plus Warrior plus Soldier to play all of them. Um, the trouble with just taking Port and Advancing Peasants is I don't have any plus buy or gains left in my deck, so I'd have to take a turn off to just buy Peasant again. So I think I'm just going to go Peasant Page. Um, that peasant's most likely not getting played next turn, but I need it, and ideal scenario for next turn is, I think, Disciple Page, and then play Warrior plus Soldier. We'll see if that manages to happen. Not quite. Uh, probably scouting party here. I've got a bunch of good stuff down there, so there's some chance I have to discard something nice, but I think this is worth the risk. Looks like it paid off. And I don't think training looks all that necessary at the moment. Might just be port time. Could be haunted woods. I've already got one. I will want a second one. Port or Haunted Woods, I think, are the two possibilities. Hmm. I'll say Ports. Uh, maybe I want to play both dungeons. I mean, obviously, in general, you want to alternate your dungeons. But I really want to just sift through my cards here. Um, more than I care about maintaining duration balance. Okay. I would love to buy a second Hunter Woods this turn, but alas, I cannot. Honestly, I haven't looked at what the bot's doing at all. Okay, two fugitives, Haunted Woods, Port, Dungeon. All those look like reasonable cards to have. Looks like the bot's got the right idea. Oh no, it killed a silver. Actually, I'm, I'm a little sad that it killed a port. I value the ports. Um, provided I don't lose the port split horribly, I wanted to put um, first pathfinding, or the plus card token, and then secondly, training on the ports. <laughs> okay, can't play all of these. Yeah, I think just hero. So I could buy... No, I don't want to do that. I was going to say I could buy training here, which doesn't count as buying a card, so I don't get hit with Haunted Woods attack and have to top deck all this stuff. But the way Teacher works is... You have to put the token on a thing you don't have a token on. Which ostensibly just means like you can't play the teacher or you can't call the teacher four times and put all the tokens on one pile and super buff that pile. But it has the side effect of meaning if you've previously put a token from any other source on a pile, like if you bought training before and put training on something, or if you bought plan and put the trashing token on something, 
then you can't put any teacher tokens in that pile because it's already got a token on it. That's not work in reverse. Stuff like training doesn't have the no other tokens restriction. So if you call teacher first and put the plus card token on something, then by training, you can have both tokens on it. But you have to do the teacher one first. So I don't want to do training yet, I think, because probably I expect my most abundant card to be ports. And so I would probably want plus card on that. And then I want to put training on it. So I think I'm willing to just buy Haunted Woods here and top deck this stuff. And it's not the end of the world. Could also just be another pair of ports. Maybe that's better. I don't know what my bottom two cards are. That might be asking for a dud. If I could do port followed by scouting party, that would be a lot better. Um, Because I would top deck this and then I could pitch the estate but leave the peasant. Switching out hero for peasant doesn't quite work, does it? Hmm. If I, if I'm not like desperate to get champion ASAP, let me contemplate this. So the downside of doing it this way is I only hit five, so I can't do port plus scouting party, but I could do like something else plus scouting party if I really wanted to. Maybe another dungeon. The trouble is, hmm, doing it this way, dungeon plus scouting party triggers a shuffle. And that sounded really nice when I was putting two ports in the shuffle and then triggering the shuffle. It does not sound so nice if I'm not buying the ports. I, I could do peasant plus hero and not play the teacher, but that sounds worse. Playing teacher is super important. Um, yeah, I don't think those six cards down there are all that great. Right, I got ten jump cards. There's six, two. Where's the rest of my junk? I got three coppers in play. One in hand. So six of these eight cards are junk. But what did I just click? There we go. I think I'm just gonna do this, and we're gonna top deck some junk and live with that. So now we're back to just Haunted Woods or Port. Probably Ports. Final answer. Uh, Disciple, Warrior. I think I want a Treasure Hunter. This isn't guaranteed. I would definitely like to turn it into a Warrior. I don't know how many Silvers I'll have to gain to do that. Um, I don't really want Silvers very much. Um, if I gain more than one silver, it's probably not worth it. Like if if you've gained one silver to get one draw card, you basically like you gained a conspirator or two peddlers. Um, if you gain multiple silvers for one draw card, you make your deck thicker, which I don't want to do. Um, bot seems too likely to gain multiple things. I think I don't think I want to advance that. I do want champion, I think, to block haunted woods and such. Final answer. Well, this sure is a hand. I mean, like this is this is somewhat expected. This is, this is the exact thing I was trying to avoid if I could, and this wasn't a great way to avoid it aside from passing the turn. I don't think I mentioned before, but Soldier is actually going to be a pretty good payload here. Um, two plus one for each other attack. If you have a bunch of Haunted Woods that buffs the Soldier, if you have a Warrior that buffs the Soldier, if you have other Soldiers that buff the Soldier, I'm going to at least have a bunch of Haunted Woods and one Warrior. Well, the bot bought Haunted Woods, not bought Haunted Woods, it played Haunted Woods. Um, which means I'm probably not buying anything here, because I have to top deck a bunch of junk. 
Um, the question is, do I buy scatting party or not? And the answer is probably yes. The trouble with scatting party is you have to discard exactly three whether you want to or not. So it can be a bit of a nuisance if you see too much good stuff. But I mean, my deck still has a bunch of junk in it. And so I think that risk is worth taking. Yeah, like this wasn't lovely, but I'll live. It avoids the disaster case. Like if I have too many good cards and I have to pitch a few, that's not great. But if I had no good cards, I'd be really happy to have a um, bot scanning party. Okay, here we go. One more turn. I'll get champion down. I don't have to worry about haunted woods anymore. Um, and we'll be getting places. I think I'd rather disciple the port. I would love an additional copy of Haunted Woods, but the problem with the Disciple on Duration cards is the Disciple gets stuck out of play with the Duration, which I really don't want. I really need to draw into this shuffle because I would love to find my Peasant. I said find my Peasant. There we go. I needed plus buy. Those five cards are junk, so let's buy Scouting Party. Okay, they're not quite as much junk as I thought they were, but I'm still happy I bought this. Um... Peasant and Haunted Woods. Uh, don't want to advance either of those. Don't want to advance that. I think I can afford to move this Peasant up the line. I just bought a new one. Library. Plus Haunted Woods. What an adventurous bot. And they're duplicating the library. They've got three libraries. Fascinating deck you have there. Can't say that I'm a believer, but... I <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't care about the page. Probably discipling the peasant, I think. Yeah, I just have ungodly amounts of money. I think the next token I take might just be the plus buy token. <laughs> Even discipling page isn't enough. Or sorry, peasant, I mean. Um, just more haunted woods. I, mean, I could do training on ports, but like, do I need that right now? Or maybe it's two more pairs of port, just so I've got all the labs and one more haunted woods, or a workshop. There's a lot of all right stuff to gain off of workshop. Workshop looked a lot better before I entered the ports, though. <laughs> maybe it's not workshop after all. Um, do another haunted woods. I've got another peasant. I'm probably doing the plus buy token next. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I think I need the plus buy token. What do I put it on? Probably haunted woods. I just want it. Oh, and what if I give them both buys? I've got a bunch of Haunted Woods. The downside of putting on Haunted Woods is it's a duration card. So you only get the plus buy token when you initially play the Haunted Woods. And then it stays out of play and it does the plus card thing, but you're not getting the plus buy the next turn. So it's like half as many as you'd expect to get from putting it on a pile. The other option could be Dungeon. I'm, just, I'm looking at the fact that I have two Dungeons in my hand right now. That's also a duration card. I could put it on Page, just because i got a Page sitting around on my deck and I can easily get more of those. Um, can't be port because I already got the token. Yeah, I think it's either Haunted Woods or Page. Hmm. I guess Haunted Woods. It's just more buy immediately, provided I don't dud.
Do they have the champion in play? Okay, the order of these doesn't matter. I was playing page first so my warrior would attack more total times, but um, that was actually a moot point. I have a disciple, I swear. Is it just the very bottom card of my deck? That's really annoying. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted to disciple the peasant and then trigger a shuffle so I could draw the peasant. Unfortunately, uh, I have no card left in my hand that can draw just one card. So I guess I just do ports first. That's annoying. Looks like it'll all work out though. Just barely. Mm -hmm. All right, probably not advancing this soldier. I don't think I have enough turns to get it up to Disciple. So I'll just leave it at Soldier, which is a card I want anyway. Um, do, 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 do. More Haunted Woods. I should buy a province for safety. I don't know what the bot's got going on over there. It doesn't have a teacher yet, but it does have some Disciples, so maybe there's some pile pressure. Training on ports. Province. Peasant. Two more disciples, two more soldiers, and we're good. There, there are plenty of kingdoms where you uh, don't bother advancing Disciple the Teacher. Disciple is itself a very strong card, and it's a strong card with an immediate benefit. And so I'd say the, the key kingdoms where it makes sense not to advance it to Teacher is kingdoms that are really fast, where the game's going to end imminently, is one big condition. Because um, you have this card that's doing a bunch for you immediately next turn if you just keep the Disciple and you're turning it into a card that does not only does nothing for you, but kind of actively impedes your deck next turn, because you got to go out of your way to play the teacher um, with a big benefit in two turns. And so if the kingdom is fast enough, just that immediate benefit versus immediate downside might be enough to not do teacher. And to the other case, um, where you want to keep disciples, where there's just like a bunch of cards you have, but no one card you plan to have a bunch of copies of, and then the Disciple effect, it can Disciple any of a variety of cards, it matters more than a Teacher token on one. Um, that being said, I don't think this is either of those kingdoms. I'm not sure where the bot never got a Teacher. The plus card token looks really valuable to me here. Um, hmm. I don't know how many ports they have exactly. I know it's an odd number because the bot trash one. Is this my last port? The question is essentially, do I need to disciple a port to draw on? Or can I save all my disciples and use them on the other stuff? I, I see five of my junk. I discarded four of my, or three of my junk. There's two more junk cards down there. There's a hundred woods down there. Um, not quite sure what else. This is just, this is just gonna be a win, right? I probably shouldn't be overthinking this. Um, I disciple haunted woods twice. Yeah. Let's do this once. Okay, so I'm fine. There were two more ports. I should have known that, but I didn't. I wouldn't want to do this because the disciples are getting stuck out of play, except in this case, the game's going to be over anyway. Big soldiers. There you go, it's not in on provinces. But who wins on provinces? That's gross. It's in on dungeons. 
And one thing to be very careful about in peasant and page games is these are neither empty piles, but if you're trying to three pile and one of the empty piles is peasant or page, it's easy to make the mistake of advancing that and then unemptying piles on yourself and then the game doesn't end and then you lose. Um, so like if I had emptied peasant and then exchanged here, then there wouldn't be three piles empty at the end of the turn, which is when the end of the game condition checks. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, what did the bot do? The libraries didn't make any sense. <laughs> the library's really bad. The bot got pretty behind on the ports, it looks like. Um, the rest of this seemed all right. Um, I think you do want teacher. I don't think this is a, a kingdom where you skip it and stay on disciple. Um, I think you want more ports. I don't think you want any libraries. And, uh, I mean, you do want Haunted Woods. I think Workshop is a totally reasonable card to get. Although, for purposes of gaining ports, which the bots seem to never do, a pair of dungeons looks good. So there's, there's some of this that makes sense, some of this that leaves me with questions. Um, I was pretty happy with my shuffles overall. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could have managed the plus buy situation a little bit better. I did have more money than I could shake a stick at, and not enough buys to use it. I'm not sure where I would have gone to fix that. Okay, you're definitely not taking the plus buy token before the plus card token, I think. With as much junk as you got, you still need the draw. Um, so that's not the answer. So I would have needed to add more peasants earlier. But if I'm adding more peasants, then it's still hard to, to play them. Maybe there's a scenario where I added a workshop. Like, you can get by with less plus buy if you've got a workshop to gain the ports. That's effectively plus buy. So, I don't know. I mean, it might just be the answer that uh, there wasn't an easier time to add plus buy because up until that point where you've got the plus card token, you just needed to invest all of your buys and such into draw and sifting and uh, whatnot to make sure you're playing your teacher consistently. Uh, I don't know. 